Today I'm looking at a MIDI wind controller and this is one which is quite a recent one launched by the Chinese company Rob Ku and it's called the Wind Synthesizer R1. So if you click on the website, you find that uh, it's actually quite a nice, uh, pretty instrument. And if uh, those of you from the wind controller community would recognize that it's actually uh, based on the uh, Yamaha WX5, which I do have over here. Scrolling down the website, we find uh, it's got it's got really quite pretty features and what I did was I wrote to the company and I asked them to send me one so that I can test. So they actually sent me one and I'm actually quite excited to introduce the R1 to the English speaking world, uh, share with us some of the basic features and uh, maybe just play a tune or two. So let's try it out. So let's just give the R1 a bit of a listening. Uh, what I've done is I've connected the R1 by quarter inch cable. It's going directly into my audio interface, uh, which means that it's recording directly into the computer. What I will do is I'll record the violin sound, it, just a simple scale, and then I'll go uh, this first octave, the second octave, the third octave, and then I'll go down to play the lower octave. So let's listen uh, to what violin sounds on this over those number of octaves. So if you look at the R1, uh, what it does have right in the front would be three fingers up here and then four fingers over here, so seven fingers. And at the back, uh, what you have is you put your thumb over here and this is the octave up and then a second octave up and then the octave down. Over here, you have the accidental keys. Uh, so this is to shift, uh, you know, to give it a, a sharp up. And this is to flatten your note. Okay, so bring it half, a, a semitone up and bring it a semitone down. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, over here, these are what we call the, you know, the control buttons, which allow you to change instrument and, you know, you can uh, assign certain uh, controls over to these uh, buttons. Also very, very useful when you are changing settings and things like that, okay? Uh, so uh, this is the on-off button. And when you turn on the button, you find a green light, it powers on. And uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show to us all the different cabling, okay? Because that's, I think, where it's very interesting. Oh, incidentally, this little hole here is the spit hole. Uh, so if you, this is, this is a really nice uh, mouthpiece, uh, which they've given to us. And uh, what you have over here is, you know, all the blowing stuff and, you know, the, the spit will come through all the way to the other end. Uh, and, uh, but, you know, I don't feel that you get so much of it on you all the time, which is great. Okay. So the cabling, that's really important. So over here is the aux out uh, where you want to, you know, if you have an aux cable like this, you put it inside and on the other end, what you can do is to put it into your amplifier or if you have one of these, uh, a adapters you can yeah you can put it straight into your amplifier or your uh, you could even put it into your uh, audio interface um and, and that's really good uh, i have here also another cable which is uh, really how they actually in in a lot of the videos uh, what they did was they connected this cable uh into an amplifier uh, the other end into an amplifier. It's a bit like a guitar, you know, like electric guitar or acoustic guitar. You just uh, plug it into your amplifier or your audio interface or your uh, DI box or whatever, okay? Um, the other cable, which I think is important for us to, to be aware of, uh, you have a USB-C over here. So you would uh, connect this uh, into your, your R1 
And the other end, you can connect this into uh, your digital audio workstation or something straight into your computer. Now, I have a Mac, so you know, in my Mac, I, I will need to have some sort of adapter, which I do have someplace, uh, but you know, to convert this into a USB-C and then plug it into your Mac so that you can access uh, the nice patches, um, which are you know, designed for a uh, wind synthesizers uh, like the Evinar and like the uh, a Respiro or into your iPad also. So, you know, uh, those of us who are familiar with iPads, you know that uh, SWAM instruments, for example, uh, really produce a really nice sound. So I've tried this before, and this connected by the uh, Apple camera kit uh, into the uh, iPad, and then you can play your SWAM instruments. They are awesome. The pairing of the R1 with the uh, SWAM instruments it's really, really, really awesome. Um, so basically, that's your your pairing of the instruments or your cabling of the instruments. Um, the other thing that you would want to see over here is, as I've mentioned over here, these controls allow you to switch instruments on the fly. So if you click on this, you can you know you can play the clarinet, the bassoon, the RK lead. Uh, let me see what other instruments. This is a Chinese uh, flute. The I think they call it the treaty. Uh, and then this is a swana, which is uh, a kind of like the uh, zuna. If you're familiar with the Middle Eastern zuna, that's that's a swana. Uh, and then the morin ku. I think this is a sort of a Mongolian uh, cello or something like that. Uh, and then the erhu, which is a beautiful Chinese fiddle. Uh, then we have the pipa, which is kind of like a Chinese guitar. Uh, the hulusi, which is a god. Uh, you know, it's it's a god. Uh, it, it's made out of a, a god, a, a natural plant. Uh, and it, it's, a, it's a traditional Chinese instrument also. The flute, traditional flute, silver flute, the trumpet, uh, the tenor sax, uh, and the violin. And we are back to the clarinet. So, so these are the onboard sounds. They have a app which is called Jamku, which is uh, great for pairing and uh, pairing with this instrument, and also for you to change your settings. Okay, I think there's probably enough that's been said about the R1 in this first introductory video. In the next video, let's talk about settings. But uh, I want to end with one point about this uh, R1. This port over here is also uh, the headphone uh, port. So if you put your headphone jack inside here, you can see I'm, I'm wearing my headphones. Uh, you can play the R1 the middle of the night at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. You can have many, many noisy hours without being a noisy neighbor. That's cool.